God, what a crap day. It's been raining all day, muggy. And it's not supposed to clear up till later this evening. Fun stuff. Sorry about the wiper noise, but given the conditions on the road today, you'll just have to deal with it, unfortunately. Wanted to touch on something. Um, haven't done a vlog for a while, so I figured today was the day. But sometimes there's people that are put in your lives for a reason. And a lot of times that reason doesn't make itself apparent for quite a while. Now, honestly, I just got a call from somebody that I believe is one of those people that were put in my life. I'll explain. I started working when I first moved to Nashville. The first job I had here was working for Sprint PCS in their Metro Center call center. I was a business services customer care specialist. Basically, I answered the phone and fixed people's cell phone accounts. It, it was a good job. I worked there for three and a half years before I found a, a job doing pretty much the same thing at T-Mobile for a little more money. But um, This lady was on my team there pretty much the whole three and a half years I worked there. I think maybe the last six months of it she was actually on a special team that just did uh, certain things. She volunteered for the team. I did. And she was actually making more money, but she had a lot more responsibilities, too. <laughs> well, she's the kind of person that you can't help but love. And she's kept in touch not regularly, but enough to remember to remind us, hey, I'm here. My wife loves her. She's just a super good, super nice person. She's a little bit of a character, so you gotta know how to take her, but for the most part, she's uh, a really decent person. She's kinda got her own little quirky ways, but that's just kinda all part of her charm. Well, she called me up today. It's almost like somebody just directed her to call. What she initially called for was a co-worker of hers has a laptop that's got a broken power supply connector on the motherboard on it. It's a Dell Inspiron. And she called me up and asked me if I could put the thing back together for her. Of course, I gave her my opinion about it. She said, well, he just wants something that he can play on. He doesn't really do much of anything with it, so no big deal. And we got off on the topic of jobs. And I explained to her that right now I'm not really working anywhere. And of course, she had just tons of places for me to check. Places that she knew of that are looking for people. Because she's right there in the heart of Nashville. And she knows pretty much everybody in Nashville that's of any importance at all. So she gave me a few leads to check out. A couple of them already sound really promising. And then got to talking about a radio station that 
pretty much has been wiped out repeatedly. Uh, it got took out in 2010 with the flood in Nashville. And it got uh, taken out again here recently because it's an all black radio station. I mean, that's, they do talk shows and converse and things like that. Uh, have little open forums where people can call in and voice their opinions about stuff. And of course you got the idiots that call in and make stupid comments and stupid threats and everything, but they've managed to make it through it. Well, somebody got techie and managed to get through their security and everything and has pretty much taken the radio station out. They've got, I think she said, four computers that control their programming and everything else and somebody just basically wiped them all out. They put, uh, somehow they got a worm in the system. Well, I'm going down tomorrow and recover all four of the systems that are there and quite possibly the two brand new ones that he just bought because if there's something in the other four and they're all networked together, there's a good chance that the two new ones that he got and put in to kind of put a band-aid on a broken arm, so to speak, there's a good chance they've got something on them too already. So we're going to get, get them all fixed up. But the main point with all this is that you never know when people are put in your lives you never know when it's going to be for a good reason later or not now I've kept contact up with this woman because like I said she's she was just a riot to work around it and when it worked at sprints and uh of course she's still her old interesting self that phone conversation lasted probably about 30 minutes and that was one of the more interesting phone calls i've had in a while you never know when somebody is going to be put in your life like that that will positively affect you later on now I don't think that you should expect people to be able to do things like that for you um, and I really didn't expect it of her but she's a super good woman um, she's had her knocks and bangs but I think that that maybe I've been put off all this time for a reason as far as the jobs go it doesn't make any sense I don't understand it I'll never never claim to but maybe there was a reason for this long term of unemployment we shall see. Now, do I think this woman is the answer to my unemployment problem? No, I've still got to convince them that they need to hire me. But she's definitely a help because she's given me direct leads for direct companies that otherwise I wouldn't know anything about so in that for that reason she's a godsend right now but basically oh Lord, I'm going to Nashville tomorrow to recover those uh, 
computers and then I'll have uh, a little bit of pocket money because I'm not gonna charge them major buku bucks. I know I can fix the problem. I know what's what's wrong with the system already. It's kind of interesting. In the fact that I'll be recovering a whole radio station for one, even if it is just an AM radio station, which I didn't think even existed anymore. But evidently they do and they're widely listened to. But right now, none of their stuff's working. So in comes Daddy Tech. Get them fixed up. I am very appreciative and I'll be letting her know when I see her in hand tomorrow because she's actually gonna meet me and drive, uh, lead me up to the radio station and introduce me so I can get the guy fixed up again. But I'll let you know a little bit more when, uh, when I'm on my way.